So let me do this. I think I just want to uh, speed run the multiple choice timed assessment twice because uh, we um, we got two more attempts. And I think if I work through it quickly, six, 12 minutes is enough time to do it twice. So um, so let me do it twice, um, and I'll do it faster than faster and more accurately than uh, GPT was able to. Because you know I had to correct one of the answers for GPT. Um, it actually didn't get 100% right. It got 100% right because I was helping. Um, just saying. So <laughs> now I'm going to just do this on my own and I'll get 100% in a shorter amount of time. And it's, that's my boast. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I'm just going to go through quickly so I won't explain a lot. Incorrect. Um, so that's incorrect. Kind of defining feature of a simple harmonic oscillator. You know, just so you don't appear yet. Uh, I said of period or of frequency. Okay. Time. Uh, that's not correct. Uh, not correct. Okay. Frequency, frequency, time, time. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Um, period of a simple harmonic oscillator motion. Um, this time it's correct. No, no, yes, <laughs> um, this string five, oh, we got this question before. So if that's fundamental, the next two are double and triple. So 290 and triple, I think that's three times 145. Um, not an example of wave interference, attenuation. Oh yeah, that's not an example. Let me just double check the rest. Uh, resonance is can, standing wave is definitely interference. B it is yes, and again standing wave is a kind. It is an interference phenomenon. Resonance kind of is um, constructive and this okay constructive reduced by the. That sounds actually right. Uh, let me check the rest. Constructive crest. Yeah, when the troughs are together, that's still constructive. Uh, crest uh, trough. That's destructive. Um, they don't multiply together. Uh, that's actually one of the properties of things that obey superposition principle. They don't interact with each other. Um, wavelength to wave oscillation. Wavelength is, it's not like energy. It's like a period. Um, it's the smallest uh, size of something after which things repeat. Okay, longest wavelength three. Uh, is this question not randomized? <laughs> I swear I did randomize it. We'll see. Um, or we won't see. I don't know. Unless we get the same question next time, we won't see. Uh, Mach 1 is... So Mach 1 is going to be around 300 uh, meters per second. So Mach 9 is three times that. Um, oh, wow. These are pretty close. Uh, let me do it this way. So 340 is the speed of sound at regular conditions. That times 9 is 3060. Wow, yeah. Um, this is the closest. I'm just going to guess um, speed of sound up there might be just uh, smaller. 330, yeah. yeah. I guess that could make sense. Yeah, it's closer than anything else anyway. Okay, question 10 on a stormy 9. Four seconds later. Uh, yeah. So what you have to do is uh, you have to take the speed of sound because you assume you see the lightning right away. And uh, what you are waiting to hear is the sound. So it travels at 340 under normal circumstances times four seconds, 1360 meters. So that should be about 1.4 kilometers away. Let me make sure I answered everything. And uh, I've done this in... And let me not double check, that'll take time. So I'll submit. If it's not 100%, I'll just be embarrassed for a bit and then find what I missed. Good. Okay, we got enough time for one more try, and we do have one more try, so we'll do it one more time. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's not doing it one more time. So I think to do it, uh, there it is, retake. Um, if that doesn't show, you can just, uh, you know, refresh. Um, then it'll show up somehow. We take. All right. Uh, correct the statement. The period is it's inversely proportional. Um, 
No. I think we got this question before. Yeah. I don't remember seeing this choice before, so that's probably the randomized part. Bit too permanent. These are frequency, yeah. Some, you know, counterpart time. I mean, these are time, yeah, period. Okay, the rest are probably all wrong. Yeah. Oh, wait. Most correctly, hertz and, oh, they're not period. That's a, they are frequency. Oh, wow. Well, they sometimes reverse. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, simple pendulum can be approximated as a, under, yeah, conditions, small amplitude. Um, in the limit of swing is a small, yeah. It's about the small angle approximation that you have to use to simplify its motion of equation of motion. Uh, statement below transverse and longitudinal. Oh, we got this question before. Transverse is the one uh, perpendicular to the direction of uh, wave propagation, longitudinal is along. Okay. Um, between wave speed, frequency, and wavelength. Oh, a frequency is um, um, velocity. I'm going to try to do the units in my head. Velocity times the wavelength, it gives me meters squared per second. Not right. Frequency is, it might be proportional. I'll come back to that. <laughs> wavelength is given by product of, okay, meters per second times one over second. That won't give me the correct unit. Wavelength wave of velocity, meters per second, divided by one over second. Okay, that'll give me meters, so this should be correct. And um, yeah, yeah, from this relationship, you know, wavelength is equal to V over F. This is not right. Wave frequency would be inversely proportional to wavelength. Okay, not an example. Um, I think we got this question before. Uh, that's attenuation. And it's the way we present it. Um, I know there are some people who will describe it as, oh, it's uh, interfering with the different absorption and re-emission of waves from different scattering centers. We're not doing that. <laughs> Nodes and antinodes, okay. Uh, they don't annihilate each other. <laughs> if it's particle and antiparticle, then yes, not nodes and antinodes. Uh, and, and nodes are not necessarily endpoints. Um, and not all endpoints are necessarily nodes. It depends on the boundary condition. Um, they are not swapped. Uh, antinodes, yeah, maximum displacement. That's the sense in which antinodes are anti-nodes. Nodes are uh, stationary. So this is constructive and destructive. I think uh, we had this question before. Um, crest to trough, that's a destructive, not multiplied. This is what I call joke answer. These are both the constructive and crest to add, crest is, yeah. I, this might not be a randomized question. Uh, I got the exact same one twice. Okay, so mark, uh, so the number I had to use last time was 330 <laughs> times of 5, 1650. There. Um, and the numbers should be far enough apart that if you are using something way out uh, of like either using 300 or even 340, I think that shouldn't confuse you between different choices. I spaced them out enough that um, that kind of rounding error one affect your final answer. Um, uh, this is just a memorization question. You just have this have to know these numbers. Um, it's between 20 to 20 kilohertz. Now, um, I think once it goes, to, goes below like 50 hertz, some people might not be able to hear it. And once it goes above 10 kilohertz, some people, old people, uh, might not be able to hear it. Um, but uh, so none of the other choices will be close enough to be that confusing. Like um, 100 is definitely way too high. And a kilohertz is definitely way too low for the high end of that range. So right, I think I answered everything. Um, Let's hope I didn't miss anything. Um, and again, if we, I'm not getting 100%, I will just be embarrassed for a bit and um, and figure out which question I missed and why. <laughs> All right, good. So I think that's everything. We still have a couple minutes left, but um, 
can't think of anything useful to do in that time. So <laughs> let me end this one session a little bit early. I'm saying goodbye to people joining by recording the video. And, um, and for the people who are here in real time, I'll stay online briefly after stopping the recording. So uh, bye to people joining by recording the video.